right there. My friend is having a hard time today, so I'm making this video. Um, all right. So you're having a hard time on Facebook. Well, that's just so surprising. Facebook, the Eagle Playground. You're having a difficult time. Get yelled at by people who don't want you to change their reality. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's so surprising. <laughs> so shocked to hear that all right so let me tell you first the story plato came up with this thing called the allegory of the cave i tried to find a good video for you but they were all too serious and overdone and obnoxious to me so i'm gonna do my own for you right now so prisoners were chained to each other and they're all um necks were also chained too so their chains around the prisoners like their arms and legs and their necks so they couldn't move they could only face the back wall of a cave okay and so there was this the, the allegory is told with fire behind them also the sun behind them and every day the light that was thrown behind there was puppets in one of the stories and then there was also real people who were not inside the cave they're outside the cave but the sun would cast their shadows on the wall of the cave so the prisoners became used to this and they named the shadows things so there were people or puppets depending on the the version that you hear um and the prisoners who were chained they could only see that one wall they were forcing that facing that one wall and they they named the um they named, you know, the people and the dogs and the horses and whatever that they saw, you know, in shadow form on the back wall. Um, so they had nothing else to do. They were uh, the prisoners who could name the shadows first or fastest or thought of as smart. And, um, you know, given the accolades of that as if they were super smart, they knew with the sh which shadow was coming first based on the sounds or whatever. Okay, now, one day one of the prisoners gets released or, depending on the version you hear, gets pulled out of the cave and set free out to see the sun, forced, forced to see the sun. First, the prisoner starts looking at the shadows because that's what he's used to seeing. That's his normal. So he's looking at the shadows of things before he's looking at the actual form that casts the shadow. So this prisoner, his the uh, sunlight hurts his eyes at first and uh, um, uh, he's confused at first by what he sees and, and he gravitates to what he knows, which are the shadows. So first he looks at the shadow and then he's taught and told uh, to look at the form that casts the shadow and he learns that it's actually the form that casts the shadow. The shadow is not an actual thing. So he's living in this reality, this new reality. And he's getting used to the, he's used to the light now and he's used to the forms that are casting the shadows and he realizes that the shadows aren't really things. They're just byproducts of the light on the form. Okay. He gets used to it, and then he, one day he decides he's going to go tell the other prisoners. So he goes back to the cave. He goes back into the cave, and he's telling the prisoners. And he can't see. He can't see now because he's he, his eyes haven't adjusted from the sun of outside to the cave. And so he's trying to tell all the prisoners that what they're looking at isn't really a form. It's just a shadow cast by light on a form and since his eyes haven't adjusted he can't see the, the um he can't recognize the shadows like he used to be able to do and like the other prisoners are able to still do because they've stayed in the dark all this time so they the other prisoners think he's really stupid and that they think that uh the outside world has made him stupid or you know he's crazy now you know like you're an idiot you're crazy because the prisoners all have the exact same reality and he has a different perspective now okay you get that well um 
The other prisoners treat him like crap. They're all believing the same thing. And then he like knows the truth and he's trying to help them see the real truth and all that. He went back to the cave to try and help his fellow prisoners uh, with information that he's found out since he was in the outside world. And they make fun of him and they look down on him and they're really mean to him. Now, Plato calls it the allegory of, ca of the cave. And he says... If you're the prisoner that escapes the cave and you, you learn about the real reality, you learn um, the truth of things, it's your job and you must go back to the cave and try and um, tell the other prisoners what you've learned. Uh, I believe Plato was killed for trying to do just that. So um, what's going on with you right now when you're using... It, it's a, you know, Facebook is the only place that lets me live stream. So it's a great, great um, platform for that. Uh, a lot of people know about DARPA. DARPA was, uh, people found out about DARPA. They shut it down. And then Facebook was born right away. Right away, Facebook came into being. Hmm. Okay. So the thing is, you're using the best platform that you can use to tell the other prisoners in the cave what you have found out. And the cave has given them a reality that they're comfortable with. Okay. They are treating you the way the prisoner who came back was treated. They're not happy with you trying to change the reality that they're comfortable with. Okay. While I'm asking you to keep your own vibration high, I know that you're angry. Okay. Anger is 150, right? You're angry and I totally get it. And I wish I could um, change that for you. But this is your growth experience. And you're meant to feel this anger. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Compassion is love plus understanding. The people who are being mean to you right now are in a lower vibration than you. So... In a fear vibration of 100, it's easy to program someone's mind. And you're coming in now with um, new information, but someone beat you to that person, those people's minds. Someone beat you to their minds a long time ago. Don't take it personally. Just don't take it personally. Some people say, people say they want to grow. They really want to grow. And part of them does, so it's not a lie. It's true. They do want to grow. They really, really want to grow. They really, really want to meditate every day. They really, really want to um, have a high vibration. They really, really want to be healthy and at peace. They want that. Part of them really, really wants it. But part of them really doesn't. It's not your fault that you're changing now. It's not their fault that they can't change right now. Okay, there's no fault because nothing matters as much as we think it does. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I had a client that had a very difficult situation, very difficult situation. There was, um, an illness involved on my client's part and my client also was is taking care of a partner with another illness okay in working with this client i said you could leave right now and you could 
go to another country and start all over or, or another state. You could leave right now and empty your bank account, get all the cash out of it and drive to a place, sell, sell your car, get another car for cash. You could drive, you could escape your life right now and, and never tell anybody where you went. And you could start all over in like Alaska or somewhere else. You could get a job and, um, you know, no, no one, you could live out the rest of your life without anyone finding you. And my client said, I couldn't do that. I said, but you could, and you know that you could, you could. I haven't given you a scenario that is impossible. I know that you won't do it. And I know that your ego tells you you can't, but you know that you could. When your mind is calm and it's rational and your vibration's high, you see so many more choices than you do when you're in a lower vibration and you're scared. When you're scared, all these people in a fear vibration, they believe the sources of information that they've set up for themselves these sources of information that have slowly over time degraded that individual's ability to think for themselves, slowly degraded that individual's um, vibration, 900 freedom, empowerment, um, freedom and empowerment it's in, in gratitude. Gratitude, freedom, and empowerment are all a 900 level vibration. People visit those vibrations, but they don't stay there. It's almost like they think, oh, that's not normal. And it, is, and it isn't for our society. It's not normal to stay in a 900 level vibratory frequency of freedom, gratitude, and empowerment. It's not normal. But it, it's possible to do it more often than people think. When people say things like, I have to watch the news, they don't really have to. They don't. I have to know what's going on. No, you actually don't. You don't actually have to know what's going on. You can want to. You can desire it. And now I'm going to get to the part that's going to be uncomfortable for you. And super, or super comfortable for you when I talked about how stupid the other prisoners are. Okay. This part is going to trigger you. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about you. Now I'm going to talk about how you have created your own pain in this situation. And you know that I love you like crazy. I will send you a picture just to prove that to you. I really do. I love you like crazy. Okay. If I didn't love you like crazy, I would not tell you how you're totally screwing yourself right now and how you're ruining your own vibration. Okay. Stop giving a crap about what anyone else thinks. Okay. If you need to share stuff, you need to share stuff. It's the allegory of the cave. You feel like Plato did. He's much smarter probably than I'll ever be, okay? But, you know, Plato said, you got to tell people. When you know the truth and they don't, you got to tell people. Okay, Plato did that, got killed. You're doing that now. A very, very smart person told you to do that. Even though maybe you didn't know until right now when I'm telling you the story. That Plato told you to do it. You can tell all these people. Sorry that I'm challenging your reality. But Plato told me to. Just make sure that when you're sharing. Share out of the right vibration. If you can raise your own vibration. Your sharing will be better received. 
or you'll care less when it's still miserably received like it is now. All that I can do is love you. That's all I can do. And there's a lot of fear out there right now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch um, stories for a second. Um, I think you know probably who Lizzo and Jillian Michaels are. So Jillian Michaels is this exercise guru person. Okay. And she got in trouble, yelled at. The mob came after her for saying something about Lizzo, who is this um, larger bodied uh, black musician. Okay, both women, uh, I'd say both pretty empowered women as far as our society goes, okay? So, um, Jillian Michaels said something like, why are we calling um, an unhealthy body type beautiful? We run the risk of if we if we if we make that beautiful, then other people can blah 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 blah. Okay. Now, when no one's one hundred percent right and no one's one hundred percent wrong, but when people are coming from love, they're usually right, and when they're coming from fear, they're usually wrong. And this is this, this is the case. I want to do it with this first, and then I'll put it into the context of what I what we were talking about for you. All right. Um, when Jillian Michaels is afraid, fe coming from fear, that people will think obesity is beautiful. Okay, if she's afraid of that. People sense that fear energy, and they that's what they're reacting to. Uh, and when the body, po body positivity people are afraid that someone is not going to love someone just because they're bigger than, um, you know, size six or seven or eight, you know, like a healthier size. So when the body positivity movement is afraid that someone's not going to be accepted and loved just because they're too big, they're afraid. So they're going to react in fear. Okay. So both sides are wrong when they're coming from fear. When the body positivity movement is coming from love, loving Lizzo and loving larger body people, just loving them and deeply and completely loving and accepting them, when they're coming from love, they're correct. But so is Jillian Michael when she's saying, out of love for Lizzo or any human being, when you have a healthy body, you will have a healthier life. You'll be able to do more things. She's not wrong. Okay. So when, when a side is, when people are coming from love, they're usually right. When they're coming from fear, they're usually wrong. Now back to your situation. When you're posting, are you coming from love or are you coming from fear? It's one thing to go back to the cave and tell people what you've learned about the reality of the outside world out of love for them that you want them to know, then you're probably right. Okay. But if you're posting out of fear or if you're just afraid, then you might be wrong. You just might be. <laughs> you just might be wrong. Okay. So now let's talk about you know, Alan Dershowitz just said, you know, no, it's not a, it's not against this, this United States of America to hold someone down and put a shot in their arm. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Well, that's certainly going to trigger the Agenda 21 people because that's Agenda, Agenda 21 is here. And so I understand that people who kn have known about this and they're like, see, it's not a conspiracy theory. Right. It's not. It's here. It's at, it's at the front door now. So if everyone just calms down and comes to center now, now all the people who said that that wasn't, that that's not what's happening. There's no such thing as agenda 21 or agenda 2030. That's all. That's all a conspiracy theory. That's all a lie. Okay. Well, when you're hearing 
you know, when you're hearing people like Lori Lightfoot, you know, from Chicago saying, um, we make it, uh, we take it from a directive into a mandate and then we put people in charge and then we arrest and find people, find people who are not following these mandates. We put people in charge who are going to push the agenda of the new world order. There she is. She says it. She's saying it. She's saying it right out loud. Uh, we hire people and put them in places in charge of, um, what are they called? Um, not committees, but uh, departments and stuff like that, that are going to enforce the new world order. And we, we take it from, we make it a directive, and then we change it from a directive into a mandate. And then we just go out, and we, we put people in charge, and we just um, arrest and find people who don't follow these mandates. All right? So if you're in fear, 100 level vibration, you're not going to be as effective, and you're not going to speak the way you want to speak. So... There's plenty happening now for people to have to see that the agenda is real. It's, it's here, it's, it's real. There are people pushing that agenda. Alan Dershowitz, Bill Gates, Lori Lightfoot. I mean, there's just plenty, okay? So now everybody can see. Before it came to this, there were a lot of people that saw it before it came to coming out of their mouths. Like, you know, when George Bush, George Bush Sr. talked about the New World Order. And a very much younger and much more coherent Nancy Pelosi talked about agenda for the 21st century, you know? So, okay. Now it's out. Now people can see it. All right. It's, it's, this is such an important step in our, in our growth as a human species. So calm down, come to center, make sure you keep your own vibration high. Some people's vibrations are going up and some people's vibrations are going down. It's not your job to raise people's vibration. It's not your job to wake people up. And some people who are waking up are very crabby, very cranky. It's not your problem. Okay. Be impeccable with your word. But when you're impeccable with your word, make sure that you're coming from love. Whether you're posting or you're speaking, make sure you're coming from love, not from fear. Okay. Because if you're coming from fear, the drama's starting from your side. Just like when Jillian Michaels is afraid that people are going to think that being really big is is more beautiful than being really small. I mean, some, we're just going to have big and small people forever. It's just how it's going to be. But stay, make sure that you check. Where am I coming from? So you can be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. People in a lower vibration, shame 20, guilt 30, blah, 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 blah. You know, honey, they should have nothing. To, you should have nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with you. People in a lower vibration than you, they have no idea what they're doing. They can't. What? Think about how much you can't. I can't help myself. Okay, well, if your vibration is higher than them, they really can't help themselves. So don't let them get to you. Don't take it personally at all. Don't take any of it personally. If your information is challenging their normal, if, if it's challenging their reality, they're just like the people in 1984, in the movie 1984. Just It's a very short movie. The people are screaming and screaming and screaming for war. They scream, scream, scream for war. That's their reality. They like fighting. You got to let it go. You, you can't help everybody. You can't save everybody. You just have to do your own vibratory raising stuff. 
enjoy your own life, do everything in love with love. And if you have to leave some people behind, just leave them behind. There's, there's plenty of people like me that are calm and centered. We're right here. We're here already. Just find us. Just, just, why do you think you feel better when you text me? It's all about vibration. I swear to you. I swear, swear, swear. It's all about vibration. You have the ability to raise it. Raise it. You don't need to save everybody. If you're going to share, that's fine. You're just doing what Plato said to do. Go back to the cave. Tell the other prisoners what you know. Fine. But do it out of love. Do it out of a high vibration. Do it from a place of gratitude that you found out about it or, or however. I didn't. I was going to look and see what you posted, but I didn't. I'm so sorry. I ended up posting my own thing. But, um, you know, Facebook is an ego playground. It is what it is. It's a great place. And thank God for it because I am having a good time with my Reiki stuff, you know. And I got another group. I have so many, so many pages on there now. Um, but please, please, just enjoy your life. Just love yourself. Be grateful for everything you have and everything you see. I, I used to get really upset because no one saw what I saw. So I understand. Okay, but here's how I got over it a long time ago. Would you rather be someone that knows or doesn't know? Okay. It's okay. It's all right. I know what you're worried about, but that might never happen. There are so many things that could happen before your worst nightmare. I know exactly what you're thinking. I do. I've played it out in my own head a long time ago. But I'll tell you, you, you could be so surprised. I'm just going to say that. Something amazing could happen and just surprise the crap out of you. It could end up being like a, a hundred times better than you ever dreamed. So I know that you think that what you see, and then you're, you feel like you're mar we're all marching towards that reality of what you see. But the thing is, it could all change. Fast. Really fast. Really, really fast. And the people with the lowest vibrations, all those people that you're having problems with, they have a really good chance of getting really sick. And not making it through the next eight years. So just love them. Just love them. If they're throwing tantrums. And if they're being mean to you. You know that hurts their soul. You know it hurts their soul. They don't want to be mean to you. You're awesome. But stay awesome. Love them. Love them. You can do it. That's why I started Renegade Yogi. Bless them and their craziness. Forgive them and all their tantrums and all how mean they are to you. Forgive it. Just forgive it. Respect their free will choice to act like douches. Forgive them more they know not what they do. Just respect their free will choice to be assholes. That's just what's happening now. And love them from over here. You know, f from wherever you are, just love them. You don't have to be friends with these people. I'm not, I mean, I love everybody, but I stay far away from people who yell at me. I just say I'm out. I'm out. Too much, too much drama for me. I'm out. You know, and people can think that's cold or whatever, but <laughs> I'd be the biggest hypocrite in the world if I didn't take care of my own vibration. All right. So anyway. Bless all, including yourself. Forgive all, including yourself, in all directions of time. Respect the free will choices of all, including yourself, in all directions of time. Love all, including yourself, in all directions of time. And be impeccable with your word, because your word is creating in the universe. Make sure you're coming from the right vibration. Take care of your own vibration first. Raise it up before you post. Be impeccable with your word. Don't make assumptions. 
I got that. Okay. Be impeccable with your words first. Don't take anything personally a second. Third is don't make assumptions. Fourth, always do your best. Fifth, be skeptical, but learn to lessen. You're doing fine, but everyone else is doing the best that they can too. They really are. Forgive them, Lord. They don't know what they do. They're doing the best that they can. It's fine to go back to the cave and tell the other prisoners, but don't stay in the cave too long. <laughs> Come back to the soul party. Raise your vibration. And I love you. I love you so much. Thanks.